All right, so I tried all of these metric sizes, and it actually is a standard size. 716 by 20, fine. That's weird. It's perfectly. So let's look for be right back. Hi! You have just won a Harry Potter award. <laughs> Alright guys, so you guys saw that uh, it was that weird uh, 7 16 by 20 millimeter or 20 whatever 7 16 by 20. So I asked the dude who worked here at Home Depot and he said they don't even carry any 7 16 I'm gonna go to Fastenal right now. It's uh, four miles away and fingers crossed I'm able to get another one or two and uh, see how it goes. All right, so fast and all came through. All right, that's that little store right there with the little sign. Fast and all, it came out to like three bucks. Bought the little longer ones. They don't have like a head to it, but it should work. All right, so just got back. Um, the bolts are here. Let me grab them real quick. Right there, fast and all. Part number 2118876. Uh, 7 16th by 20. Uh, hex cap screw. They didn't have the other type of head. This didn't have this type of head. So they just had the um, hex screw type head, which is fine. Just throw a spacer on there. I mean, a washer on there. Um, but my bumper, the holes don't line up because it needs to be adjusted. It needs to like kind of turn sideways like this. And so I'm gonna have to actually move my car, um, pull the bumper back off, loosen the brackets, adjust those, tighten them, throw the bumper back on, and then we can throw those bolts on. Here we go. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So you can see, I had to actually like pry this bolt right here, this the bottom one, uh -huh. and bend it back this way so that this one will actually sit in there. But both of them are in. Still need to tighten them down. They fit perfectly into the second hole. I usually never fit uh, do the first hole because it never really fits right. But the size is correct. If you want to go pick it up at Fast and All, if you have a Fast and All near you. That's it right there. And I'm pretty happy. I'm gonna, I just picked up the, oh, I just got this box from Juan Colon, Colon, Juan Colon. And we're gonna do a unboxing today. Pretty excited about that. Um, here we go. I'm gonna do a time lapse. All right, let's unbox that. Shout out to Vaughn, gave me a good deal.
needs a little work. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna pour this. Oh dang, I can't even pour it out. Um, let me get a bag. Trash here. one coming through with the product can't wait to throw these on I've uh, been wanting this set but I nobody I knew had it so I had to purchase it from Juan and he was a cool guy about it he told me everything about it pretty excited I'm gonna throw these on today too Washed it, uh, used a little uh, rust dissolver on it, uh, rinsed it off and dried it off. Now I'm going to spray my paint on it. It's still kind of warm, so I want to let it cool for a little bit. Alright, so it has, uh, we have rain in the forecast and um, it was sprinkling and raining earlier this morning, but luckily I have a little window of opportunity here and the package came at the right time. Uh, they were a little rusty as are, I would say, 99.9% .9 of these. I'm pretty happy. You see right there, it's not... Um, it's still kind of pitted, but you can't really help that, so I don't really care. Come on. Nice and spray painted. Everything's covered. Pretty excited about them. I didn't have them when I bought the car, so shout out again to Juan. All right, we'll let these guys just sit out here, cool down, complete dry they're drying and then I uh, will install them we're gonna move on to this uh, little corner over here um, I I guess I'll throw it on but no actually uh, we'll do the radio right now I want to take a look at the radio real quick really quick another piece that I got from Tony is this overflow bottle GTS one comes with this bracket I already have one I'm gonna take this one off and slide that on real quick I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it look at 
that. Goodness gracious, that's beautiful. Mm. Uh, I love when everything comes together. Piecing this car little by little. Man. So this is next. I'm gonna see if I can throw this in. It even has a cassette player, which is dope. There we go. So, that piece that uh, I was showing you guys the other day actually fit perfectly into here. I'm gonna throw it onto this. I'll give my brother another piece. Like that. Super dark. All right, so I installed the, both of them. I still need to tighten it, but this um, extra piece here, I have, I took it off my other one. I have no idea where I put it. It's somewhere. And I was so proud of myself when I took it off. I was like, oh, I'm so smart. I took it off. I put it somewhere safe. And I think it's a little too safe. So I'm going to check my other boxes. And hopefully I have it. And then I'm able to install brand new wipers. Because I already purchased them. And I purchased this other one. It fits. But it's just not the right one. So when I'm done, I'll come back. All right. So I spared you. The installation. Nice and painted and brand new wipers I've had for a while. I tried to do the other one, but uh, the arms are off. So I think this is going to be good. I'm going to call this good. Finally, have my wipers, even though the car doesn't even run. Brand new wipers, brand new arms, brand new wipers. Had these, installed both of these. Shout out again to Juan. And I think that's it. That's where we're gonna end this video. If you liked what you saw, smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell button to get notifications, tell your friends. Hopefully I can keep doing this for you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Tomorrow or whenever, we'll keep uh, moving forward with the installation of all the stuff that I got. I love how that radio looks like now. I know you guys can't really see it, but still got a big bunch, big box of stuff here. Um, we'll go through that. I might not even need most of it, but got too excited and installed a bunch of stuff today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks, guys.